I'm going to talk about today's announcement um, about the new iPhone. Uh, it's not the iPhone 5, uh, so we're not getting a new hardware. We're not getting any new, uh, you know, there's no big major update. Uh, it's called the iPhone 4S. Uh, okay, so in my eyes, it's a very, very disappointed announcement. It's not... Eh, it's a minor, it's a really minor upgrade over what was sold prior, the year prior. Um, well, some people would say, oh, you know, it has an 8 megapixel camera, a faster processor, um, and all sorts of nice little features in there. So people would say, oh, well, it's, it's a major step. I mean, yes, in some ways it's a major step, uh, and it's fine. You know, for people who don't have an iPhone or one in one, or been one in one, I would say, go out and get one now. Um, because yeah, it's a little bit better than what the iPhone 4 uh, has. The iPhone 4s is actually pretty, you know. I guess the S sounds so special. Um, but here are some of the pros about it so far. Uh, well, faster processor, uh, better camera, uh, well, higher resolution camera. Um, it's a world phone, which is great if you like to travel a lot, so you don't have to really worry about. Oh, will it work? Will it won't work? And all that stuff. Um, if you go outside the country, now it's a world phone, and it's on Sprint, which is a company I'm on because I, you, you know, I love to save money, and also they have some of the best plans out there, so can't beat that. Um, plus, the only company that still has unlimited data, uh, so I don't think we have to really worry about much, but. Anyway, uh, that's just some of the pros about the phone. Uh, also, they are debuting a new voice command uh, app or system called Siri, which is a company that they bought about a year and a half ago, if I'm not mistaken. What this would allow you to do is you would say a command into your phone, like, um, what's the weather like today? And the phone would respond back to you in actual audible tone and you know, oh, it's blah, 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 it's going to be 95 degrees, wherever you're at, and all that other stuff, uh, which is really cool, but it's beta, according to them. Uh, also, it does, for the first time, they're going to have a 64 gigabyte phone, uh, which they've never had in any of the other um, iPhone models, so they had go from 8, 16, 32, and 64 gigs. And I believe you can get the 8 gig iPhone 4, not the 4S, for free on contract. And uh, if you want the 4S for 8 gig, I believe it's $100. Uh, 16, 16 gigs for like $199. Uh, 32 for $299. And the 64, of course, the $399, which is $400. You're just a which is. I don't know who's really going to spend that type of money on a phone, on a contract, especially when you could just spend an extra 100 and get an iPad. It's like paying for a base model iPad pretty much in a way, right? Except you can just make calls all the time. But um, other than that, I'm highly disappointed because I don't think this is a major update in any way. Uh, I'm sure the people out there who love Apple that would go and, you know, say, oh, I don't fuck like you're talking about, you're stupid. I'm like, it's about today isn't you know not a not a major blow in any way uh, iOS 5 is probably the most exciting thing about this whole announcement because the new updates about it you can do certain things that you could have already done on other platforms like especially like Android like the notification tray you can pull down you can see you know your text messages your updates from Facebook um, the weather it depends, you know, all that other stuff. And now iPhone is going to do that as well. Um, also, voice command, which is something Android has had from pr uh, pretty much, I wouldn't say day one, I'm not too sure, but they've had it for a very long time. And um, it doesn't, like, I was like, okay, that's cool, but I already have that. I have an Evo 4G. As much as I hate that phone because it, start, it got really. You know, I'm full disclosure. They gave me a gingerbread update, and it pretty much made the phone unusable in many in many different areas. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's not 
the greatest update. It's not. Uh, for me and people who have iPhones before, or if you, uh, hell, even people who have the last generation, not the iPhone 4, if you already have an iPhone 4, there is no reason for you to upgrade to an iPhone 4S unless you travel, unless you want that extra bump in speed and all that stuff. I really don't think it's really worth the money. I would say wait until they actually announce a iPhone 5. Uh, if you don't have one, and you wanted one for a very long time, then go ahead. It's uh, you know, it's not a bad buy at all. It's actually a pretty sweet piece of phone, but um, I was hoping it would actually have a bigger screen. They don't have a bigger screen. It's still 3.5, still the same sort of body, still everything the same. Just the internals has been just been ramped up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. It's a very very disappointed announcement. And, uh, you know, what can I say?